Well, I want to welcome you to American Federal Government, Carl Albert, Carl Albert State College, the spring semester of 2024. So my name is uh, Mr. Brennan, <clears throat> and an introduction to myself. I've taught for 27 years now, um, three of those at Edison High School in Tulsa, and the rest of the time has been right here at Poto High School. I teach uh, the AP classes here, AP U.S. History, AP Euro, AP Government, and I've taught adjunct at Carl Albert since, uh, I think, 01 uh, was when I first started out there, right about the time my oldest daughter was born, and she has now graduated college, so been some time. Um, I really love um, uh, teaching. Uh, especially government. That's actually my master's degree is in political science. So that's right up my alley for sure. And um, I also, um, uh, my wife and I, we have three kids. My oldest son is um, a freshman at Carl Albert. So um, that is a bit about me. I love to travel um, more recently as my kids are grown. I have more freedom to do that, and uh, that way I can learn more history and more about governments and other parts of the world as well. So um, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of this class. I try to keep things as uncomplicated as possible. That doesn't necessarily mean easy, but it does mean that things should be uncomplicated. So the way this class is structured is um, we're going to do a chapter each week and um, for each chapter you first need to watch my introductory video and then you need to read the chapter that's really important it's a, a great book it's really interesting it's very current and so make sure you read that chapter carefully and then I've got an, uh, an assignment in the discussion board for you to complete it's uh, usually in, in an essay type format. It is a formal submission. So do not tweet or X or whatever they call it now. It's not a Facebook post. It is a formal submission. I expect paragraphs. That's the biggest thing I have. I have students that will submit things and it'll be one huge paragraph and it's not organized. Um, use your spell check, use your grammar check. There's no excuse for really sloppy work. And when, if I'm grading it and I see that, right off there, it's not gonna be an A. So, I mean, because you've got these tools, use them. Um, and it just shows that you didn't take time to actually correct and do a second draft and consider things. Um, but there's more instructions on each of those assignments. A lot of times we'll watch a film and I'll have you take notes on the film and then write a reflective paragraph on what you learned from the film. Um, but I'll give more details on those when we get to those assignments. So, so you're going to watch my introductory video. It's about 10 minutes long. You're going to read the chapter carefully. Then you're going to submit your discussion post assignment. And you won't be able to see others until you submit yours. Um, it's not required that you comment on others. Um, but I do encourage you to look at other students' submissions as well after you've turned yours in. And then you have a, a weekly reading quiz. It's timed, you have one hour to take it. You will not have time to look up every answer, which is why reading is important, but you can look up some of the more difficult answers. Um, and that's the gist of it. That's what we do each week. Um, and then in addition to that, we have a, a midterm and a final. And um, uh, each each week, you, there, there's a hundred, uh, sorry, 50 points available, um, 25 points for the um, discussion post essay, 25 points for the reading quiz. And then the two tests, the midterm and the final, each worth 100 points. And then we're going to have a letter to the editor that you have to write and a letter to a, to a congressperson that you have to write. And those are also each worth 25 points for a grand total of 1,000 points, which makes it nice and neat and easy. Um, so that's the nuts and bolts and how the class works. 
Um, make sure you print your syllabus. It's got the schedule on it, but again, it's pretty easy to follow because we do week one, chapter one, week two, chapter two, and we keep things uncomplicated. No late work. Um, if um, <clears throat> uh, that, that's just a hard and fast rule because um, I end up going back and having to open up assignments all the time if I start to accept different excuses. So just stay ahead, work ahead. I'll usually, after the first couple weeks, I'll open up assignments three weeks ahead of time. So you could actually work ahead. Most people do not. A lot of people I notice turn things in. Things are due midnight Sunday night. And I, I see like 11, 11.30, you know, all that, people doing it at the last minute. But um, uh, yeah, no late work. Um, I will drop your lowest quiz score, or I should say I raise it to a 25, which is the maximum points. Um, and that's to account for computer glitches, computer problems, because those happen, and I do sympathize with you when those happens, and, and that's why I, I do that. Uh, I try to keep these videos under 10 minutes. My introductory videos for each chapter, I try to keep them under the 10 minutes, and I'm now at six and a half minutes. And so I'd like to use the remaining time to talk about why this class, why are you taking this class? This class, as you've read in uh, the uh, <coughs> welcome page, is the most important class on this campus. And that's because the very survival of our republic our way of government, our system of government under this document, the Constitution, that's what we'll be studying, especially in chapter two, but that's this, this document forms the basis of everything. If you don't know what's in this document, if you don't know how this country works, then you can't be a, an effective citizen. You must vote. It's not your, your right, it's your duty to vote, but to vote, you have to be informed. That's how the whole system is set up. And if you're not informed and if you're not educated about it, then we could lose it. And nowhere is this more important than today. Uh, having taught now for over a quarter of a century, I never thought that we would be in a position where, and, and facts matter, folks, and, and I'm gonna stress this again and again. I never thought we'd be in a position where we have, um, uh, two different worlds uh, and two different realities. And, and, but the truth is there's only one reality, and that is uh, that the 2020 election was not stolen, uh, but yet a third of Americans believe it was. And that led to an insurrection on January 6, 2021, where for the first time in American history, a candidate, president, former President Trump, had tried to uh, uh, undo the election through multiple means, and that's why he's facing criminal charges now, and refused to concede the election. We've never had that happen in 230 years, all because he uh, falsely claimed, even though he, he knows it's not true, that the election was stolen and it was not. And I, as your instructor am extremely alarmed by this because the fact that so many Americans believe this is undermining trust in our democracy. And that trust may be the most important part of our democracy. Um, uh, and and th this is having devastating consequences. So this is a really important year. It's 2024. Here we have another presidential election coming up throughout this semester. We're probably going to watch uh, Trump win the Republican nomination. And of course, Biden is, is almost certain going to win the Democratic nomination. There's no major opposition there, but, but Trump looks like he's going to win that. And uh, the, the real future of our democracy is at stake because what's going to happen? Um, there's so many unknowns. And uh, so it's, a, it's an interesting time to teach this class, but it's also a frightening time because we, we could have... Um, a convicted felon uh, running for president. He could attempt to pardon himself um, if, if he is elected. Um, there's so many unknowns. Um, and then also, what happens now if Trump again loses the election, but then once again 
which he's going to do. He will say again that it is stolen. Is that going to lead to something worse than January 6th? Will some states actually try to uh, send uh, a different slate of electors to try to undo the election, which almost happened last time? Uh, it, it, it is a frightening time. So th this class is so important because the foundations for our 230-year-old republic are now appear they could be crumbling. And, and th this election in 2024 will have a lot to do with, with the future of, of our country. And it, it, we can only get through this is, is if people are informed and they're able to discern fact from fiction. And that is the job I have before me is to try to help educate you with regards to those things. But we'll address more of it as the semester goes on. Welcome to class. Glad you're here and let's get going. Thanks.